Uh, before I let you out of here, got two last questions mm -hmm. for you. Number one, what's your greatest memory of Big? And number two, I mean, it's 25 years since Big passed. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel like even to this day, Big is still so loved? All right, well, the first question is my, my, my favorite memory of Big, you said? Yeah. Um, I never really shared this one before, but uh, one time we was in Jersey and uh, at the crib, and I was in his room and shit. And he was on the phone talking to somebody, lay down in his bed, and I was in the crib doing something. I forgot what I was doing. I don't know if I was in there dancing. I don't know if I was in there saying some dumb shit or something. And he was, whoever he was talking to, he was like, yo, this little nigga just got, this little nigga cracking me up right now. He just got me feeling like I got a little brother right now. And, uh, you know, as a kid then, that 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 touched me, you know, because everybody used to fight for the attention from him or wanted to be there, you know. This when he just got his crib in Jersey. I have a room in there. I'm good money. You know what I mean? Like the way he just treated me, it wasn't like I was a little nigga. It's like I was a, I was a little nigga when I needed to be. When shit going down, I'm gonna hold my little little brother by his shirt. But then when it's time to get grown, I could grab the champagne, pop the champagne too, grab the mic and jump on that stage. You know what I mean? I'm grown enough too. I can grab the magnums and I go upstairs and I got four, five, twenty one year olds up there lit. You know what I mean? Like, but that was the first time that where he he was just letting me know how he embraced me. Like, you know, this is this is my son sometimes. This is my little brother sometimes. This is my homeboy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Or it's my nephew sometimes. Like, you know, he was just like that one moment right there was where I was just like, all right. You know, that made me feel good. It, it, he, you know, it probably ain't meant nothing to him thinking about it at that time. He was just on the phone rambling with somebody. It was like, yo, this little dude just got me feeling like I got, like I got a little brother right now. <laughs> That's just getting on my nerves. Because I was in there doing something crazy. But i never forget that. And that just made me... You know, it made me feel appreciated. It made me feel loved. Like, all right, he really, you know, he really fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? 